watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, welcome to another video. Today I am going to be doing my paperbacks from my old collection. These are vintage horror books that I uh, acquired over the years, and uh, I got quite a few of them. Most of them you've probably already seen in, um, say, my uh, paperbacks from my unboxings. I, I think I did multiple ones of those, but I... No, 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 I only did one. There are a ton of them that are in there. There are quite a few new ones. You might have already seen them in the other videos, though. But, so, here we go anyway. We got this one. This one was definitely in the package from my unboxing. Ultimate Encounter. This is a true story of a UFO kidnapping. That's pretty cool. Not too big on this cover art, honestly. This one is very cool. I got this one in New York at um, Strand Books. Very cool bookshop. Huge bookshop too. And it's like on a must, it's like a must visit store in New York. Even if you're not a book fan, you should go there. <laughs> um, but yeah, I got I Am Frankenstein by C. Dean Anderson. There are some other ones that I got at Strand Books. Really excited to read this one. I actually am friends now with the author. So if I read the book, I might, I'll try to interview the author for Slasher Pepper. I'll try to get him to do an interview. We'll see. Next up, we have Devil's Child with this classic kind of glossy cover. That's so cool. Also, really like summary. Just pause if you want to read that. Then we have. This, this is like my favorite cover. Um, actually, I'm not switching up between two of those, but uh, shut up. This is definitely one of my favorite cover arts, if not my favorite. Stage fright, we look at that. Got like the Alice Cooper sort of hair going on. Like the keyboard guitar, that is so cool. I love it whenever a cover art is like a normal situation everyday situation and then just changes it with a skeleton like you got the mailman on, on some books and Sandman and Dead to the World which is the one I was talking about which I'll get to later but yeah there's synopsis and here we got Snowman by Norman Wagner this is like a 3D kind of cover you can't really see it I think you can, you can kind of see it on the inside here uh, no, you can't see it at all, actually. Uh, but yeah, ah, there you go. You can see it's kind of glossy, like 3D. And here we have a more recent book, a very more recent book. It's Stranger Things, Suspicious Minds. That's a lot of S's in uh, four words by Gwen Bond. I really like the cover art of this one, too. It's, you know, the colors are really poppy. Here we have another, like, die-cut cover. It's a uh, fair book. And as you can see, it opens up just like that. That's really cool. And here we have The Piercing by John Coyne. Also a very cool cover. And I also like the tagline, Nothing hurts worse than perfect love. Next up we have Hobgoblin with another die cut cover, as you can see. Pretty creepy too. Next up, we got My Best Friend's Exorcism, another pretty recent book, pretty recent title. Really cool. Got this one at Strand Books as well, actually, as well as The Silence of the Lambs. This is like a tie in edition. And here we got The Nestling by Charles R. Brand, which is a really cool cover, but a really beat up <laughs> copy, as you can see. Um, still, that cover is so dope. And here by Charles R. Grant, we've got Shadows 1 and Shadows 2. These are like UK, um, if I remember correctly, UK copies. So, also really cool. This pretty terrifying cover over there. <laughs> and then we have The Chrome by Bill Garnett. Also, it's a really cool cover art. It's kind of like the glossy title. Oh, this is also a great find. 
kind of goosebumps uh, sort of cover fangs with like the green snake which is really cool I really think that really pops and then one on the back you got like green too which fits the uh, frog scholar or <laughs> the snake scholar <laughs> Jesus frog man um, but yeah I like the design of that uh, going on on that book then here we have some James Herbert titles we have the survivor also from Strand Books, a fluke. Really cool cover. So there as you can see. That's so cool. Then here we have The Dark. This book was in health when I got it. I think you can still see that in Package from Hell video. But I just know some sticky tape and it's it's alright now. <laughs> also a really cool cover. Then here we have Shrine, photo of James Herbert on the back, Domain, always reminds me of uh, Ghosts, Ghosts song, Rats, then Moon, which also has a die cut cover, um, as you can see, and there's a name written in here, and it says, 10th of July 1986 and the name that's in his book is actually of the seller which I got this from which got most of these books from there's the swarm by Arthur Herzog that's how you pronounce it and this is like a tie-in edition it's got like photos from the movie in there now I don't want to break the spine too much because it's it really looks like it's about to fall apart here. Amityville Horror 2, The Terror Continues, and this one. It's a die cut cover as well. Really cool art on the inside. Here we have the Amityville Escapes, which also is a die cut cover. This one, this copy is like brand new. It's insane. Looks like a book that came came out like last year except for like the yellow tin on the pages. Here I have two copies of The Shining. This one I ordered, this one I found at a local thrift store which I never seem to find these sort of books in English uh, at my local thrift store, store. So I had to get it just because you know it was the first time ever finding such a tie-in. But I kept them both because this one is in better shape, but this one has like a better story. And then we have Firestarter and it. This is like the newest edition of that book. And you know, is it I wanna get my hands on the actual, you know, the actual old vintage cover. But I do really like this one because it's I got it at New York at JFK Airport, so you know, it has a good story to tell. Here we have The Game. This is like a Dark Forces book. And there were more of these, and they're quite rare. You got Magic Show, The Doll, Devil Wind as well, as you can see on the back. It's kind of like Goosebumps, but more for like young adults, I guess. Here we have The Haunt of Horror, and this one. It's more of a comic, actually, but it does have a Kent cigarette ad in it. Which, <laughs> you wouldn't see that anymore today, you know. It's got quite some cool illustrations, I'll show you just one. These kind of black and white illustrations. That's pretty dope. Here we have the Walkers. Which is actually my second name, Roger Walker. And then we have Ghost House. Also really cool. And also, Ghost House The Revenge. Or Revenge. Not the revenge. So yeah, those are. I really like the designs of both of these because it's like the same design. Um, basically, like a kid looking through a door, it's just different. And like one is more white, one is black. Really good designing there. Here we have slob. It sounds like the blob, and the cover kind of looks like the blob, and yeah, it's quite interesting. We have the wolfen. Shadowland by Peter Straub, recommended by David Bergatino, Ghost Story, 
also by Peter Schaff and recommended by David. Uh, speaking of people called David, here we have David Sutherland's The Forgotten Island. Really good read. The Witching. Great cover. We just look at that. So cool. And this one I also got at Strand Books Mysteries of a Winter Thorn. Pretty cool cover. The house. It's kind of 3D. Then another one I got at Strand Books Charmed Life by Bernard Taylor. Nice purple cover, which you don't see too often in horror books. Ceremonies, really cool cover there. Yeah. This one I reviewed online uh, on Spotify. Uh, I gotta find me the link so I can put it in the description. Um, but it will be in the description because I will find it. Oh, yeah. It's it's an odd read. Like there, there's like a you know, a vision of this book installed in my brain that I that I gotta adapt into a film because it's so much different than this. It's kind of like basically what I expected from this, but what I didn't get. And it's really odd to read this. Uh, you gotta you gotta listen to the review um, on Spotify. It's pretty in depth. It's like an hour long or something. But yeah, uh, <laughs> it's odd. That's all I can say. Here we have Horror House. Also by Jane Williamson. And another tie-in for the change. The Keep by F. Paul Wilson, I believe. Yep. And this one got some photos of the movie on the back. So that's pretty cool. There we have, I, this shares the same title as my favorite movie, Sora. My favorite movie is Intruder. And here we have The Intruders. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Here we have Under the Lake. A 99 piece the tribe by Barry Wood and this has a die cut cover as well so honestly I haven't been buying that many paperbacks from hell myself uh, recently I am mostly focused on vinyl at the moment but I always get back to books and then I'm just like oh yeah I'm not buying vinyl anymore that much and then like a few months later I'll buy vinyl again and say the same thing I just said, so uh, it tends to switch around a lot, but yeah, these are all the ones I have for now. It's a pretty, pretty extensive collection when you think about how long I've been collecting paperbacks from hell. So yeah, I think uh, I think it's a great uh, collection. So yeah, let me know what you think. Do you have any of these uh, that I just showed you yourself? That's all I have for today, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild tonight.